Welcome back, Mike from Conference Technologies. Today on CTI Tips, we're going over to our friends at IAV Furniture to talk about woodworking for AV. Let's get started. For our install today, we will need the following supplies. A cable cubby, a power drill with a spade or paddle bit, a jigsaw, a sharp box knife, safety glasses, and a marker. Welcome back. I'm here in the wood shop of IAV Furniture with my friends Carrie and Max, and they're gonna help us install this cable cubby into a piece of millwork. Let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is Take your cable cubby, measure out the flange, and make sure that when you cut the hole, you're not cutting a hole bigger than you need. In this case, it's very simple. The flange is six by six. So we mark it out on our conference table. One thing to consider is the clamps. You want to make sure you have enough room to put your clamps on. So you want to stay an inch and a half to two inches from the side of the cabinet. Alrighty y'all, so step two is going to be scoring and setting up the initial cuts for your jigsaw on the job site. So now, the first most important thing is to make sure you have a good sharp blade in your razor. Fresh blade is always recommended. And then also, something good and straight on the job site, it could be a piece of trim like this, another piece of wood, or a rack unit, or a rack rail, whichever you have, but as long as it's good and straight. Now, you're gonna carefully line up along your line, make your first pass pretty lightly, and then you start scoring a little bit heavier, but make sure you score many times, just to make sure you're all the way through the surface of your piece. On to step three. Step three is drilling the holes you want to make sure that you use a spade bit, a paddle bit, or a speed bit. They call them, they're all the same thing, but that's what they call them. When you line up where you're going to cut the hole, make sure the outside of your bit is hitting the lines. Then you're going to want to roll up and cut your hole. Initially, when you break the surface, there's a little ring you need to get rid of. Toss that ring, and now you can... Okay, on to step four, your fourth and final step, connecting the holes with a jigsaw. You just want to make sure that when you cut these holes, you stay on the inside of your score line. As long as you stay on side of the, inside of the score line, you're not going to ruin the surface. Alrighty y'all, so the final step here. We had just finished out cutting out our shape. Ultimately, it's gonna be a big open square, of course, to set our box in. And the real last step, setting the cable cubby in the coal. Then make sure it fits well and all of your edges are covered. Looks good. Thanks for watching today. Hope you learned something. If you did, please click like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please put them in the comment section down below. We'll see you next episode.